In this problem, it asks us to multiply binomials. So you can see we have a binomial multiplied by a binomial in both of these, and then we'll get down to part C later. Um, but to multiply binomials, we're going to use this acronym F-O-I-L. And F stands for the first term. We're going to multiply the first term. So that's going to be here times here. We multiply the first terms together. So 3x times 3x would be 3 x squared. And now O stands for outside. So outside would mean I'm going to multiply the outside terms, which are this term right here and this term right here. So that's 3x times positive 3 is going to give us a positive 9x. So Positive 3x times positive 3 is positive 9x. Now, the i stands for inside. So that means I'm going to multiply the inside term. So negative 5 times positive x is going to give us a negative 5x. And then the l stands for last. So we're going to multiply the last terms. So you take the f negative 5 times the positive 3 is a negative 15. Now take a look. Do we have any like terms we combined? I've got a 9x and a negative 5x, so I'm now going to rewrite this. It's going to be 3x squared. 9x minus 5x is a positive 4x minus 15. And that's as far as we can go, so we foiled. Let's try this again. Let's do this. Um, so first, 2x times positive x is going to be 2 x times x is x squared. Now, 2x times negative 4y outside. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, and then I have the x and the y. Those don't do, go together, so we just write them um, next to each other. Now, negative y times a positive x. Negative y times a positive x is a negative. Again, I'm going to write this xy. Because instead of, if I, did, if I wrote yx, I might not know that I could combine these terms together. So just write them in alphabetical order. And finally, negative y times negative 4y. Negative times a negative is a positive, And we have a 4, and then y times y is y squared. Now let's combine our like terms. We've got a negative xy minus, again, this is a 1xy. So it's going to be 2x squared minus 9xy, because negative 8 minus 1 is negative 9, plus 4y squared. That's as far as we can go for that one. All right, let's take a look at this one down here. This looks like a, li a little different than what we've seen up to this point, but... I think we can handle this. So b minus 2 squared, I need to remember what it is to be squared. Remember, it's the same thing multiplied by itself twice. So when we square a binomial, we need to make sure we FOIL. Now b times b is going to be b squared. b times negative 2 is negative 2b. Negative 2 times b is, again, negative 2b. And then negative 2 times a negative 2 is a positive 4. We can combine these like terms in the middle, and we're going to have our final answer is going to be b squared minus 4b plus 4. So as you can see here, we really are just we're foiling, which all foiling is is we're essentially just doing the distributive property twice in here.